Uh, first, we start with the melody that consists of double stops played in Cornell's famous style. Technically, to play it is uh, relatively simple, but it sounds really powerful. I'll show you how it goes. So it starts with sliding double stops, like this. And we end on the G major 7 chord. So what's happening is I put the index finger on the 5th fret, on the top two strings. This, this is actually what we're using, this sliding. Then we move all the way back to the 2nd fret, but we get this shape, which is already part of the G major 7 chord. So let me play that one more time. And then we slowly play the whole G major 7 chord like this. Then we get a small melody. leads us to a D major 7 chord. When I play that chord, I don't play all the notes all at once. I, I do this. So my little finger, the pinky, is, a, is slightly late. I do that on purpose to phrase it in that way. Then afterwards we play an E minor 7 chord. And this E minor 7 chord is a little bit louder than the D major 7. So you get... So this is the first half of the melody. We do the same melody again. Again we land on the G major 7 chord. But now we get a small pentatonic chord melody. If you take your index finger and you put this on the uh, 7th fret, you have the possibility to play a whole pentatonic scale with the rest of your fingers, like this. And this is something that you see with players like Cornell, like uh, David T. Walker, Jimi Hendrix, of course. It's a really common thing to do with uh, this kind of playing. What we're doing is this. So we, we come from... hammer on those other notes. Go back to D major 7. And now we go to a chord which is actually part of a, a D major 7 chord with a 6 and a 9 added. It's, it looks like this. You put your index finger on the 9th fret and you put your middle finger on the 10th fret B string. So you get... You play the whole thing again, so let me do that. Let me play it for you. One more time. That's the first half of the melody. The second part of the song has a lot of space and it starts with a with a pull off. It goes like this. And we do that really loudly. So you go from the twelfth fret, and I would use my pinky for that on the E string, and I pull it off towards uh, the ninth fret on the same string. Then we get a slide back from the chord. So we have again this chord. That D major 7 with 6, 9. And then we move it chromatically back like this. So let me play this in the rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 4... Make sure that every chord is really played clearly. 
This chromatic shifting of a chord is commonplace in his musical style. So, that's what we're playing. And we keep moving back and we also uh, embellish the chords with single note movement. So you hear... I'm actually playing a variation on those chords. This is regular D major 7, moving back to C major 7. You can also hit certain top strings like this. One more time. And then we end on this chord. So the last chord that we're playing is a variation on a D major 7 chord. <laughs> 